Okay. After I found out the information that I was just diagnosed with collapsed vertebrates after two and a half years of suffering, um, I had the TV on and on a local TV station there was Dr. Theophilus on TV and telling us about the microendooptic and the VAK, which has given me my life back. When I went to the doctor, he introduced me by going over my problem, telling me exactly what uh, my fault was and how to cure it. And he showed me the problem, the BAK, showed me how it gets implanted, and uh, I thought about it myself, and I, I had a feeling it would work. So with the counseling of their doctor, patients choose this remarkable little BAK implant over other fusion methods. And here's what's so remarkable. Small bits of bone, usually taken from your hip, are then packed inside the implants. This provides the body with the material it needs to grow new bone. By growing new bone through and around the implants, the vertebrae are fused together, relieving your pain. Now that the viability of this modern surgical option is well established, what can you expect once you and your doctor feel that a surgical option is right for you? We've mentioned traditional surgeries several times. Some studies suggest that with these forms of surgery, you can be in the operating room more than four hours with 900 cc's of blood loss and a five to seven day hospital stay until you can take care of yourself again. Compare this to the documented benefits of inner body fusion with a BAK implant. About half as much time in surgery, one third the blood loss and a shorter stay in the hospital. It gets better when you get home. BAK patients report quick relief from pain, short recovery times, and soon return to work. What's your life like today? My life is fabulous. I'm still in physical rehab and in physical therapy, but I'm walking, I'm standing, I'm sitting, and I'm happy. I'm, I cook, I drive, I drive myself to my doctors, I drive myself to therapy, and I walk, I bend, and I love life again. Well, after the operation, uh, uh, my recovery period uh, went very well. Uh, I uh, was discharged from the hospital after about three days, uh, and I drove all the way uh, back to St. Cloud without any stopping or any problems, and I went back to work part-time in four weeks and uh, was back to full-time in six weeks. It was really surprising. I mean, when I woke up, I could feel, I mean, I didn't know if it was just total painkillers, that, there's, but, but I could feel that the pain that I had had, just the sort of nagging pain in my back, was gone. Of course, there's other things you feel. You have cut, well, three incisions now and, and some other things, and you can feel those. Uh, but as far as the back pain that I'd been experiencing sort of on a continuous basis uh, towards the last uh, year or so, it was noticeably gone. And, uh, and I didn't know if it was from the antibiotics, or not antibiotics, but the painkillers that they would have given me. I don't, didn't know if it was from that or if they actually did something. Well, the, the pain just never came back. If you had to do it again, would you? I would have done it two and a half years ago if I would have had the knowledge of it before. What was your experience like with Dr. Theophilus? Fabulous. He's a very compassionate man. Um, I've dealt with several doctors over the years, and I'll tell you, the man is very compassionate, very caring. And he's a perfectionist, so I know he would do it right. <laughs> what was your experience like with your doctor? My experience was real nice with him. Uh, he treated me nice. He sh showed me exactly what my problems were. He showed me exactly how to solve the problems. Uh, I spoke to somebody else who also had it done, and it was, it was, it was wonderful. Now for a professional opinion, let's go to JFK Medical Center, where the live Internet surgery will take place and meet with Dr. Charles Theophilus, who will be performing the surgery. Let's find out how he feels about interbody fusion. Hello, Dr. Theophilus. Hello, how are you doing? Thanks for meeting with us today. Thank you for Thanks having me here. First of all, I'd like to ask you, uh, how did you become involved with this surgical technique? As a surgeon, we like to keep up to date with all modern techniques, and the interbody cage device is one of those techniques. Once it became FDA approved, we became involved in using it for the treatment of chronic low back pain. What did the introduction of the BAK implant offer your patients with back pain? It's remarkable. Before the BAK cage came out, 
patients with chronic low back pain had very little options. We placed them physical therapy, rehabilitation, and some of them underwent a very lengthy spinal fusion procedure from behind. With the introduction of the BAK cage, now we have a minimally invasive procedure that can be performed on um, a lot of patients with chronic low back pain with excellent results. And what kind of results have you seen? Well, we're looking at over 90% fusion rates. Over 90% of patients have improved or maintenance in their pain. Over 90% of patients have improvement or maintenance in their strength. Those are excellent results on patients who have chronic low back pain who had virtually no options prior to this technique. Is this a well-accepted procedure in the medical community? Well, as with most new procedures that have come out in the medical community, uh, there, people wait and see what happens. As with this cage, with these results being so excellent, the medical community now is embracing this technique as a, an alternative and as a minimally invasive procedure for chronic low back pain. And who is right for the surgery? That's the key question, and that, that's up to your surgeon. Uh, as a surgeon, picking the right patient is the most important thing. I look for patients who have chronic low back pain who have failed extensive and exhaustive physical therapy and rehabilitation. Those who have undergone pain programs with, with temporary uh, improvement, if any improvement. I look for patients who have isolated degenerative disc disease to one or two levels. Patients that have grade one or less spondylolithesis or slippage in their vertebrae in their spine. Another excellent category of patients is those who have undergone disc surgery for sciatica and have had excellent relief of the sciatica but have chronic low back pain, the, what we call the post-laminectomy syndromes. Those patients, as well as the patients with chronic dis disabling low back pain are excellent candidates for this procedure. Why did you choose to do a live surgery? Aren't there risks? Performing the surgery live on the internet uh, allows other surgeons who do not utilize this technique to see how easy it is. It also allows uh, vascular surgeons to show how easy the approach is to the anterior lumbar spine. Some some surgeons are afraid to go anteriorly. Through this technique, we'll show them how easy it is to get to the lumbar spine from in front. Sure, there's risks with surgery. Well, as a surgeon, we deal with those risks every day. There's no greater risks having a TV camera watch us. We live these risks every day, every time we walk in the operative room. Now, the public and other medical students, residents, and surgeons will see the same thing that we're seeing how easy and minimally invasive this procedure can be. What is the protocol for people who see this and want to find out more about the procedure? For a patient to be right for this procedure, they have to exhaust all conservative measures. We just don't operate on everybody who shows up. And we just hope we could offer something to the community as far as an educational experience. After the surgery, there will be an online chat session for any questions someone may have. I understand that something called templating is done before surgery. Is that something that we could see in OR? Sure. We'll do that next while we're in the operating room. Great. Thank you. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Well, welcome to the operating room. Thank you. There are some few key points in deciding what type of cage, size cage you're going to use. Mm -hmm. First of all, you need to have all your x-rays up on the view box. You need to determine which is the abnormal level, what level we're going to operate on. And here we have some x-rays and as well as an MRI scan of a, one of our patients. And we can see the abnormal disc level. Oh, sure. We compare it to the normal disc level above and below. Mm -hmm. The next thing is using our template chart. And our template chart has, for x-rays and CT and MRI scans, we've determined that this MRI scan is a 50% magnification. Yeah, I can see it's much smaller than the x-ray next to it. Right. There. So we obtain this, and we go ahead and we template. And we determine what size plug we use. Oh, I see how that works. Okay. So by determining the size plug we use, it would allow us to usually estimate what size cage we were using. Mm -hmm. The last step is determining how long of a cage we need. And we do that by picking the depth. And that's either 20 or 24 millimeters. And sitting here, this is a 24 millimeter. 20 millimeter will probably fit better. 
those are the key steps in using the templates as far as a guide for choosing cage size and length for oh, surgery. I can see how these templates would be invaluable. <clears throat> it's also important to note that the first template is for x-ray, then after that, MRI scan and CAT scan uses, depending on the size of the MRI scans were filmed in. So if I had these templates, do you think I could do the surgery? Uh, if you're a good carpenter. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate this. Thank you. Very ingenious. This concludes our program. Back pain sufferers, you have a modern option to relieve your pain. And referring doctors now have more confidence than ever that the promise of interbody fusion has come to pass. If you would like additional information sent to you, call Sherry Bachman at Selzer Spine Tech, 800-655-2614, extension 6320, or email us at sherryb at spinetech.com. Now let's join Dr. Theophilus live online, where he will perform a single level anterior approach to interbody fusion, placing a BAK and proximity implant bilaterally. Then join us for questions with our surgeon afterwards. I'm John Early, signing off. Thanks for joining us. You're watching WTVJ NBC6, where the news comes first. I'm Health Specialist Ileana Bravo. Got a pain in your back? Well, a new Band-Aid procedure could be for you. A quick and easy way to ease your pain. Well, it's a medical procedure that could have you looking back on your pain. Years. Uh, I went in on a Friday afternoon. I went home that same day and I went back to work on Monday. Health Specialist Ileana Bravo takes a look at a new kind of surgery that may be a back pain breakthrough. It's a medical breakthrough in back surgery. A brand new outpatient procedure. You see, it's done under local anesthesia to repair herniated disc, and that puts patients back to work in a week. NBC6 health specialist Ileana Bravo has the details of what's being called Band-Aid surgery for the back. People from all walks of life suffer from back problems. It's estimated four out of five Americans experience back pain at some point in their lives. But now this tiny camera and new technique is making back surgery and recovery much less painful. Instead of big stitches, patients walk away with small band-aids. I was having pain down my left leg. Morris Shlomovitz, himself a pain management physician, had a herniated or ruptured disc. It's a common cause of back pain when the gel substance inside the disc spurts out and puts pressure on surrounding nerves, spreading pain from the hips down the legs. Most patients get relief from physical therapy and anti-inflammatory treatment, but sometimes surgery is the only solution. We actually get the disc herniation that's herniated out from where it's supposed to be, which is your disc base, and we remove it. And thus, we take the pressure off the nerves. Neurosurgeon Charles Theophilus is describing the microendoscopic discectomy system, a less invasive procedure than traditional disc surgery. With the so-called band-aid surgery, surgeons make a small incision in the back and then gently dilate the muscles to open a pathway. An endoscope with a tiny TV camera attached is then inserted and while watching a video monitor, the surgeon literally grabs the herniation with what looks like pliers. We can remove the disc herniation and watch the nerve relax. Not having to cut into the back muscles is the biggest advantage of the new procedure. There's no stripping of muscles so that post-operative back pain is virtually eliminated. That's what made Shlomovitz decide on surgery after living with pain for six years. Uh, I went in on a Friday afternoon. I went home that same day and I went back to work on Monday. Endoscopic back surgery is not for everyone. Most herniated discs resolve themselves without an operation. We, we do not recommend operating just because it's there. Because if it doesn't bother you, leave it alone. If it ain't fixed, it ain't broken, don't fix it. <laughs> Right now, this Band-Aid surgery is only used on lumbar discs in your middle to lower back, but the procedure could one day soon be used to treat cervical or neck discs. I'm health specialist Ileana Bravo. Ah, modern technology. How'd you like to watch a new surgical technique for back pain live on the Internet? Boy, it is amazing. That's what thousands of people did today. They went online to watch doctors at a local hospital perform the surgery. 
It looks like a scene from the NBC drama ER, but this time it's for real. It's the first live internet surgery at JFK Medical Center in Atlantis, using a new technique to help those who suffer from back pain. Dr. Charles Theophilus says the procedure will be simple after an incision is made in the abdomen. We'll be able to get to the disc immediately, remove the disc that's causing the pain, and replace it with these threaded titanium BAK cages that are packed with the patient's own bone. He says the internet surgery can show back pain sufferers how simple this new technique is. We'll be able to use it as an educational model for physicians, the lay people, and medical students. By noon, the medical staff started preparing for the surgery, including the camera crew. We're gonna, we're cool. Half an hour later, internet browsers around the world were watching the live surgery. But for those who live close to the hospital, they were able to watch in a nearby room on a big movie screen. Well, I had it personally done two and a half weeks ago, and I have those little cages in my spine, and it's the best thing that ever happened to me. She wasn't the only one impressed. It was very educational, and it was pretty neat seeing it on the internet. Well, we never thought we'd live to see this. Well, after the surgery, Dr. Theophilus answered questions over the Internet. Eyes from around the world will soon be watching this South Florida surgeon as he prepares to perform life-changing surgery live on the Internet. I'm Jim Sackett. Thank you for joining us. And good evening, everyone. I'm Roxanne Stein. It's a growing trend. Live surgery performed on the Internet. Now a Palm Beach County surgeon is on center stage to help millions of people around the world to help people who are suffering from chronic back pain. Patty Hurst hopes next week's back surgery will relieve her chronic pain caused by degenerated discs. Sometimes it runs down my leg. It depends how I move and, and you know, I can't sit too long. I got uh, like 20 minutes is the most I can sit. So while Patty's sleeping and doctors at JFK Medical Center are operating, the world will be watching the first spine surgery ever broadcast on the Internet. Her doctor says she's a perfect candidate for what's called the BAK inner body fusion, a procedure with a proven track record. It's much simpler. It takes the place of rods and screws and it just can take as little as 45 minutes to do the whole procedure. As opposed to? Uh, three to five hours. This is how Patty's surgery will work. Imagine this model is part of her spine and these are her vertebrae. This is where her disc has degenerated, allowing these bones to rub together, possibly even press against nerves, and that causes a lot of pain. These two titanium cylinders will be inserted between the bones, separating them, relieving the pain, and eventually allowing the vertebrae to grow back together. Without the rods and screws of traditional back surgery, healing is faster. Patients uh, get out of the hospital one to two days versus five to seven days. The blood, less, blood loss is cut in half from the traditional surgery. Uh, patients go back to work quicker, and the fusion rates, the healing rates are much better. So Dr. Theophilus is using the Internet to share his success with the millions of people around the world who suffer from back pain. It's that it exposes a lot of people to the surgery that we do to help patients with chronic back pain. It lets the physicians, the medical students, and the everyday person see how we do this procedure, how simple it can be.